Hey guys, Beth Bittati here, and I wanted to do the, um, probably John, I wanted to do the Summer Besties tag. Um, I will say ahead of time, I wanted to put um, my favorite lotion in for this, but John took it to Chicago with him. Um, it is just a knockoff of the anything Neutrogena Sheer Block stuff. Um, we like that a lot. It's really good for, you know, um, protecting your skin. I cannot talk right now. Okay, so um, let's just go into this. There are 10 items you're supposed to talk about. I actually doubled up on a few of them though, so I'm um, gonna even tripled up on one. Um, lip products. My favorite lip products. Um, first and foremost, good lip balm. Um, Pop Rocks from Mad Styles. It smells so good. It smells like sugary candy, which is great for summer because summer is all about, you know, sticky, sweet deliciousness. Um, and it's super shimmery too, which shows up really, really well in sunlight. So, um, and not to mention, um, I need to check. They may be SPF, but I'm not sure. Let me check. Um, so I definitely recommend using a lip balm with chapstick and or with sunblock. And I think this is John blowing me up here. Um, and then for the lipstick I'm in love with, it's Giddy from Wet n Wild. I know I've talked about this a bunch of times, but it's just such a brilliant color. It's really good for day or night. Um, and it's just very sweet and girly, which is nice for summer. Um, other colors are the whole bright orange trend. Um, I haven't found anything bright orange that's a lipstick that I like, um, but I am in love with, and I'm wearing a different color actually on my lips today from them, but I'm in love with the Venomous Cosmetics color, um, Rocket to the Moon. I've worn this a couple of times in different um, videos. I don't know if I actually used this in a tutorial. I probably did. Um, but yeah, so it's like super bright orange, which is perfect for the spring orange lip trend. And there's also like Candy Yum Yum from MAC, which has a ton of dupes. So just look online. Um, so super bright lips are obviously the summer's best this year. And uh, I don't have anything terribly bright to share with you guys. So yeah. Um, blush products. Blush. Summer is all about making your face very glowy and just beautiful and lively. So one of them I picked was the Physician's Formula. Uh, glow and Mood Boosting Blush. I never remember all the words in that, but this is in Rose, and the reason I picked this is, I don't know if it'll show up very well, but it's kind of shimmery. has a little bit of shimmer to it, which livens up your cheeks, and it's also just a nice, like, pinky, sun-kissed look when you put it on. Um, you can build it up to something really, really, like, but, um... <laughs> just normal application this has a really pretty like sun-kissed look on your cheeks and then there is also and I'm just going to take the pan out of my Z palette so you can see specifically what I'm talking about but it is Sun Love Glow by Mark and it's this beautiful orangey color which looks really good with the whole um, orange trend maybe I should hold it back more I'm not sure what the lights doing to it um, so I love this color um, it's definitely a good one for summer too because you're gonna be more tan and everything so I'm in love with that um, I just buried my list here. Next is nail polishes. Um, I actually grabbed three different ones. Uh, the first one I grabbed is Dolce Gabbana Gold. Um, I love this because it dries super duper fast. You can put on one coat or two, depending on what kind of look you're going for. Um, and it's gold, which is perfect for this, like going to the beach and being bronzy and everything like that. Um, I'm super awkward in this video, aren't I? Anyways, um, and then I picked up, I grabbed two of these Wild Shine colors and Sunny Side Up and Lavender Pearlescent which are, lo and behold, a bright fuchsia and a bright orange. Um, I mean, that's just really what spring summer trend is for 2011. So if you got something bright orange or bright fuchsia, you're pretty much good to go. Liquid face product, I picked out um, two different things. First of all, the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. Um, you need a good primer in summer if you're gonna wear any face products because they're gonna melt off of your face. Um, depending on you know how oily you get, it's going to saturate different pigments in your foundations or powders and make them change color. You don't want that. So you're gonna need to use a good face primer. Um, and I like this one quite a bit. And it's really cheap, so it's like six or eight dollars a tube. I definitely recommend it. And then the Mark Get a Tint. Um, the only time I can wear this is summer because unfortunately this is a shade too dark for me. This is in um, Buff Natural, and so the only time I can wear this is when I have a little bit of a tan going on, um, or if I want to apply it all the way down, which is usually a little too time-consuming for a tinted moisturizer, but um, I really do like this tinted moisturizer. It's more of like a lightweight foundation, um, but it feels really good on your skin, and it has really good coverage for being a tinted moisturizer. So, big fan of the Mark Get a Tint. Powder face products. I grabbed two. Um, I was torn between, and I cannot choose. Both of these I have hit pan on. As you can see here. I've definitely hit pan on this one. And then my e.l.f. press powder, um, I'm starting to hit pan on that too. So that kind of bums me out because I still can't pick which of these two I like the best. 
The colors are very, very close and everything. Um, the performance is very, very similar. This is NYC in Urban Light, and this is in Nude. Or Sand, sorry, Sand. So if you need comparisons, there are those. Sand might be slightly darker than Urban Light, but I love them both. They both do a really good job of not only evening out my skin tone a bit, but they also both mattify my skin a lot, which is important. So I love both of these, and I also grabbed these to throw in there, the uh, shiny razors. This is just a blotting sheet. I mean, it doesn't matter what brand you get them from, but blotting sheets are very essential for summer, so you need them. They are a summer bestie. Number six is your favorite hair product for summer. I'm going to go with the Tresemme Fresh Start, um, especially with, like... Being in out of the pool so much, you're going to need to shampoo your hair more often. So on the days that you don't need to shampoo your hair, you need to give it a rest. And that is why I love Fresh Start because you put the stuff in and it looks like you just washed it. You didn't. It also adds volume and body, which is kind of nice. Um, it's kind of an unexpected side effect. <laughs> but um, yeah, so in general, you shouldn't wash your hair as much as most people do. So stuff like this is becoming much more prevalent because people are really starting to pay attention to that. So... Um, and this is nice because it has citrus in it too, which is nice. I love the smell, surprisingly. Um, I don't like the smell of a lot of hair products, but I do like the way that smells. It just has a very clean smell. Um, eye product. My favorite eye product, hands down, um, I didn't even double up on this, is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance because you need a good primer. Um, I am testing out another primer right now, though, from an independent company that is also vegan. Um, that is the... MT Coffins Under the Rainbow. Um, I can't 100% say this is the best primer ever yet because um, I'm still testing it out, but I like it a lot. It's been working really, really well. So as of right now, love it. A primer is the most important thing for any type of summer look. Primer and waterproof mascara and eyeliner because nothing ruins a look faster than muddy black stuff all over your eyes. Tanning product. This is the only tanning product I own other than like sunblock, which is what I was going to talk about, but then I realized John took all of them to Chicago with him. <laughs> So uh, I have to make sure I stay out of the sun because I have nothing to put on, but that's okay. Because I don't burn as quickly as him anyways. But um, this is the Nivea Sun Kiss Beautiful Legs. This is literally the only self-tanner product I've ever used besides the Jurgens Healthy Glow, which smells awful. I cannot handle the way that stuff smells. Um, this, on the other hand, mm, smells like a Nivea product. They all just smell really good. They just have I don't even know how to describe it, but it's the Nivea smell. Um, so I do like this. This is in medium to dark skin, but I never noticed it being like crazy dark or anything like that, even though I am pale a lot of the time. So I got this back when I used the tanning bed and, uh, my legs obviously got tan a lot slower than the other upper half of my body. Um, I don't tan anymore. I don't recommend tanning. Um, it's just not good for your skin. Um, if you're going to get sun, get it naturally and, um, wear sunblock. Do your best to keep, keep out the UVA and UVB rays kind of important. Um, actually, I was just reading a big article about it in Women's Health, and actually I was going to talk about sunblock and stuff, and I think I might save that for a separate video, um, but for now I'm just going to recommend go and pick up Women's Health, the June issue, and read the giant article in there about sunblock myths, um, because I feel like I would just be reiterating that article, and that's kind of plagiarism. Um, the last thing, fashion accessory. There isn't a fashion accessory, but for summer, I love big chunky necklaces. Like, for example, the one I got in today. Um, this was in a video earlier today. This is from Sweet Bliss Bistro. And I just love big, lightweight necklaces like this for summer. Big statement pieces that are also not heavy. So that's nice. Uh, like, this one's made of acrylic, so it doesn't weigh me down. Um, but then it's big and makes a statement because I wear a lot of solid color shirts during summer. Like, right now. Um, and the last thing is clothing pieces. Um, I don't know where it went. I had one, um, but it's just a tube top from H&M, but it's not like a tiny tube top. It's like a full length tube top, um, probably a full 17, 18 inches long. And that is great for putting under little sundresses because you know how sometimes, well, most of the time sundresses are cut pretty low. Um, and that's fine when you're just wearing them around the house or around your friends, but if you're going to be wearing them around family or work, um, places where you need to form it up a little, it's really nice to just throw on a tube top underneath instead of having to deal with an extra layer of another shirt or something like that. Um, they're just really lightweight in comparison, and then they also offer, you know, something across here. Or if it's sheer, uh, it just offers you a little bit more torso coverage, or then, you know, later on you can just wear the tube top, you know, so. Or they're good cover-ups with, like, bikinis and stuff too. Yeah, so. Um, those are my summer besties. Uh, hopefully that some of those were useful to some of you guys and I will talk to you guys soon.
Bye.